hello everyone welcome to shortcut video tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can we add a shake effect into our video in the shortcut video editor so this is the video that we have uh, right now which is a tractor plowing a field and this is where i want to add a shake effect so once you have decided on which video you want to add an effect you can uh, put it into the timeline using the zoom icons you can zoom in or out of the timeline to get a more clearer view of the video itself then position your playhead to the place where you want the shake effect to start. Then using this razor tool, uh, just split the video at two parts from this particular position or you can also press the S key on your keyboard for the same purpose. Then go to the filters pane, uh, select this uh, second position, the second uh, part that you have cut. Go to the filters pane and click on this plus icon. Here you want to search for a filter that says size, position and rotate. Uh, in this, once it is applied, you will get an option that says preset. So let's just go to that particular option. Here you will get shake one second scale. So let's just apply that. Uh, click somewhere else, maybe on the first part of the video. Then just bring the arrowhead to the very first frame and play the video to see the difference. This is a normal video and this is where the shaking effect is starting. So by default, it is set at one second. So for one second, the video shakes and then it goes on as a normal video. If you just want to replay it, this is where the shaking effect starts. It shakes a little bit and then it goes. So this was a scaled shake effect that we applied. If you want to change the preset, that also you can do to shake one second unscaled. Now, if you just go to the very first frame and let's see how the video changes now. So this is how it is changing. A blank screen is showing in this case, which is not looking very good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go with shake one second scaled preset only. So if we just go back again and play this video. So this is how it is looking and I'm happy with the shake effect. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.